Hey everybody, it's Overkill here with Haxo. Hello. For for our uh, co-op or head-to-head, -head, who knows yet? It might depend on uh, what kind of stuff happens in the future. Campaign for Eight Princes, uh, the newest DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms. Um, so, in the last episode, we expanded west. That's nice. And now we have uh, a bit of a, not a real coalition, but there's a bit of a coalition in the north that's fighting me. That's no good. Um, there's not a lot that I can really do this turn, so I'm just going to move Sima A, uh, maybe build some stuff, and then it'll just be right over to Haxo. Indeed you do. Uh, we'll upgrade Changsha. And then I think that took all of my money. It literally did. Check some diplomacy. I want... I guess I could get not a great... No, I'm going to attack him after I get rid of these idiots, so... Can I get peace with either of them? Well, it's a maybe from both. Eh, no, whatever. Over to you. Okay, that was a speedily turn. Yeah, yeah looking at everything, I, I only have the one army to move and one thing to upgrade, so... Yeah, that's true. I don't really have a great economy either, and with one army. However, I have two options of enemies, don't I? Two people attacked either of my vassal. So I've got Sao Juan in the east. Yep. The last of the Saos. And a random Huang Jin down on the kind of end of China's part of the Yangtze River, which is near our dear brother Sima Ying. So I could potentially go that way. <laughs> However, I won't want to take it myself because then I'd have territory that's split between me and a vassal. It's not always True. the best thing. Unless I'm immediately going at war with Sima Ying. So, hmm, decisions, decisions. Sao Quan doesn't seem to be a threat. He's not attacking my vassal yet, but my vassal's not really doing anything either. Which is a big stalemate of not doing anything. <laughs> and either way, if I've got to move from Chang'an to Chen or down to the southwest to Chang'an, then it's a significant investment in movement and time. True. So I might just completely ignore them and let them do whatever the hell they want and attack someone else, like Seema D. Which I think I'll do. Because he's got a silk trader and things and territory that could be easily mine. That's what I'll probably do. Not a bad course of action. Yeah, I've got might and mind up to the second, well, first level technically. Yeah, let's call it first level. Yeah, up from zero. Yeah. That's not too bad. Wealth is close to getting up to the first level, and I have no spirit. Literally none. So yeah, on the flip side, I have 30... Well, I have 28 spirit. I'm about to get the first level of uh, wealth, and then mind and might, I only have five each. They're not doing so good. Hmm. Usually good to focus on one or two at the first bit anyway. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, I have the spy undercover network thing, but I don't have anyone. He doesn't give me an option to do anything with it. Maybe I'm not quite ready. But yeah, Possible. I've just got to sit just on my border for a turn, and then I can attack Seema D. Seema Wei. Uh, Seema Wei, that's me. Seema Liang, sorry. <laughs> like cooperation with me. No. Yeah, I, th I think that's a great idea. Yeah, it's a great plan. Give up your vassals to become a vassal. Uh, the Jin want me to pay them. Ooh! 8,290 over 10 turns for military access? How about you fuck off? They want you to pay them? Yeah! Oh my god, the cheek. 829 a turn for military access. I think not. No, that's just horrible. Shan Yu formed a coalition with Mao Ren. Okay, that's going to be a problem when I want to go to war with him again later. Hong Fu Shang is happy. Okay, I'm not even... Is he in my army? He is. Okay. Man, he's also a guy. He has... Uh, or a special guy. He's got 80 stats. Holy cow. I haven't really checked Gong Sung Hong. Might have absolute... Yeah, he's 145 in cunning. Goddamn. Which is like, he is less smart. 
plus 67% plus ammunition for own retinue, and plus 16 military supplies for own army. That ain't bad. Not bad at all. And that's with me not even getting the resourcefulness skill, which gives you plus 10 military supplies in enemy territory as well. Yeah, that'd be quite nice. Basically, when you get a strategist with that sort of stuff, you don't really have to worry about supplies anymore. That's the only thing I would like to be slightly changed. I'd like supplies to matter a bit more than they do. Yeah. Early game it is punishing, but later on it's just like, yeah, whatever. Unless you're seriously like not gaining the supplies in enemy territory for 10, 20, 30, 40 turns, which is unlikely to happen because you're taking territory, getting back yeah. into your own, getting supplies. So, Unless, well either modding or maybe they could think about in the future of CA where the further away from your capital the less supply base you can get. Something like that would be nice. And obviously you'd have a building chain specifically which you'd probably just tack it onto what's ever there really. Um, what is it like military infrastructure? Yeah that could work. Yeah, because that gives you military supplies for adjacent commanderies, so it's already kind of there. Yeah. Alright, so I've managed to diplomatically end these two wars north of the river, because I don't even want to bother. Or I'm about to finish the... or I'm about to get rid of the second one. There we go, perfect. So I'm no longer at war with anybody north of the Yangtze. Nice. Um... So now I think it's time to kill Sean Yu since he's been asking me for non aggression forever. Oh, poor guy. Yep. He's got Badong. He can't go without yeah, Badong. But... Yeah, I need Badong. Uh, I'm also. Never mind. I was going to say I'm going to recruit a character somewhere to uh, just help with defense, but I can't afford it. So we'll do that next turn. Um. In my court, I could put people into positions, but I have a very small court and I have no money to recruit new people, so. Well, then again, that's not that bad, other than the fact that it would, you know, ruin my economy. I don't think I'm making enough from peasant. No, I'm not making nearly enough from peasantry to warrant having that. Uh, here you go, over to you. Why, thank you. Not a problem. Yeah, so I'm just having a look. It's noble support that is going to bite me hard if I'm not careful. Yeah, Chang'an's currently just minus one, so it's not that bad. But I was thinking, hmm, you know it would be great if I could just bump up my taxes. But that would not be wise. I mean, how much does it go up and how much does it annoy them? Minus six for plus ten percent. Yeah, so, like... I'd go to minus seven at Chang'an and plus five at Shanyong. So, yeah. It's always good to keep checking that. I mean, I almost forget about it because it forgot it wasn't a thing in the Warhammer series. True. Uh, I'll, I'll keep hold of my money just in case I need it. But let's issue declaration against Sima D. And I'll take that silk trader if you don't mind. Ooh, beautiful silk. Yeah, you're gonna have like spice monopoly, and I'm gonna have the silk monopoly. It's oh, gonna yeah. be glorious. And then we'll sell them to the rest of China for a hefty profit. Yeah. If we don't just take over everything, that is. Yeah, it comes to a point where either they're your vassal or strong ally, or they need to die. Yep. I'll upgrade the Silk Road, um, and yeah, I'll need to go across the mountain peaks to reach his last territory. Ooh. Crossing mountains is never fun. No certainly isn't. I mean, technically I could get rid of my army and redeploy it elsewhere, but the amount of money that would cost, it's not worth yeah. it. It's only late game when you're just swimming in money, can you even think of that as a viable option? Although I could put an assignment actually to make 
the nobles happy. But that's minus 15 fury per turn. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. Hey, that's very bad. That. Reward the nobility. Oof. It was a thought. But this is a thought that I have buried. Until the next turn we go. Seems to me actually like get... military access, so no. Ooh. The poor guy. Mm. Poor brother. He just wants to expand, but there's not there's not enough room for all three of us. Oh, he's actually being aggressive with Sima D. Coalition offer from Fan Zhuo. I think not. Maybe if it was a coalition that actually had some decent members and not just this one guy. Speaking of coalitions, Sima Liang has formed a coalition with Sao Juan. Oh, that's not good for me. Not good. Still at war with Sima Liang. <laughs> I haven't bothered making peace with him. Oh my god, well this is a bad... Oh, I got the, I got the same thing as you did, the same event where I could slap the boy. Oh yeah. Well, I would advise not doing it, as good as it yeah. sounds. Although you've actually, have you still got the Empress's favor? For um, the duration. Oh, whoops! I don't think so. I can't see. I can't see what my uh, affecting things are because. Well, I have it for I... four turns still, and I'm sure you got that after me. And the Maybe? slapping the child lasts for five turns. I don't know if you want to risk it for a chocolate biscuit. But you could potentially cancel out the effects. But then again, you might go back to the below Prince level. So maybe not. Yeah, I, I, I might just stay quiet, take the mind alignment, and get minus 10 satisfaction for five turns. Because that's not that big of a deal. Yeah, it could be much worse. Like angering the Empress. Yeah. Which yeah, I, I don't did do that. for the shits and giggles. Shits and gigs. She's and G's. Whoops, I don't actually want to declare war on this guy, but I mm. will eventually. Um, am I oh, I shouldn't I should check to see if we have a uh a ba -ba. Oh I have a deal with this guy. Shit. If I end that, I'm gonna be untrustworthy, yeah. Oh, well, well, maybe I'll you can end it life. and then wait for a bit, and then you'll be fine. Well, so you'll I, have we, to wait I'm, like five I'm, turns. I'm giving him stuff, so if I break it now, it's un it's uh, treacherous. Oh right, is yeah okay, fair enough. The damn stuff! I shouldn't have done that. Um, so hmm. where else could I go? Well, I still think I'm going to recruit a character just to have them around and then I could also save up money and send them to go fix things. Uh oh come on I need seventeen more gold to let this guy be on the field. Okay. Can I sell non aggression to someone? Oh the people that I want to attack, that's no good. Here we go, I'll give non aggression to Fanjul. And he'll actually pay me quite well. Perfect. And then I'll be able to get this guy out on the field. So he'll actually be happy instead of just sitting at my court doing nothing. Oh, I wish I could just click and it be the biggest number. Yeah. So I gotta play this little mini game of clicking it over and over and over. Until it's on the perfect 0.0. .0. Alright, we got more than enough money. We'll recruit Bujun, or Bujun, whatever it is. And yeah, they'll chill there. Uh, and I think that's everything. Um, everybody's still decently happy, so that minus 10 satisfaction doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that's it. Nice. Oh, and I've got a little uh, event. A question of rank. The Ministry Ooh. of Education has submitted their final review of the nine rank allocations. Upsettingly, one of your retainer's clients has received a lower rank than they expected. Your retainer asks that you correct this obvious mistake, if they are able. They also offer, of course, to cover any necessary costs. Trust the system. 
or intervene. Corruption rampant for five turns in the local commandery. Oh my god. Depends on which one it is. Well, actually, yeah, that'll be fine. Because every time that pops up, I get really scared, and then oh, I see no, that it's Oh, no, it's like... Chang'an's Jade Mine. But I'm not going to... It's not going to be oh. too bad, because it's only five turns. It's not like it's plus 20% forever. Yeah. I get a 1,000 for it. I get plus five wealth alignment, which pushed me over to the first level. Oh, so well, I already perfect, get a bit of extra income. Well, you're good to go, then. Yeah. Not bad at all. And I'm a prince now. Again. Hey... Again, after your demotion. Yeah. yeah just need to kind of get a little garrison force because Sima D is going after my lumber yard. Alright. Get your own lumber yard that isn't mine. Oh, well, you can get Mo Yi or the Swan Brothers they can wear. Oh, oh, oh. The Swan Brothers is what I took from uh, the Jin Emperor. But Mo Yi's actually got better stats. Plus 15 resolve, plus 15 cunning, no negative effects. The Swan Brothers reduce yeah. expertise. Increase instinct. So I'm just going to get the Moe. Shove them on. Sounds like a pretty good idea. Can I afford another little retinue just quickly? Oh, yes, I can. Every little helps. Dogs are angry. Oh, woof woof. Maximum boof. Uh, yes, I'm kind of done my turn. Nice. Xiao Xiang is doing what we do. Oh, bloody Kuai Chang is declaring his independence. Oh, of course. You. Ah, yeah. All right, doesn't matter. He will be dead soon. <laughs> Ruan Shen is asking for military access. His payment? 24. Wow. <laughs> I'll have to decline, my good sir. <laughs> we will sign that special pact with Bian Bing. You know who Bian Bing is? Yeah, I'm going to be killing him. Oh. Eventually. He's also, well, he's already at war with two people, and I'm probably going to try to sneak in and take oh, it. Oh, I see where he is now. That's fine. Yeah, he's the, he's the, the Wu Ling and other half of Badong, I think. Man. Sima Yan declared war on Sima Jian. <laughs> I have far a new many daughter. Simas. Far too many. Too many Simas spoil the broth. So I have two. Wait. I have two girls and a son. Okay. And they're actually all different so far. I have a commander, a sentinel, and a strategist. Ooh. How fancy. Brother, you need to get yourself a wife. All right. See, so yeah, I kind of want to march through this guy's territory to get to Bian Bing, but I don't know if if he's already sieging it, that would kind of suck. Yeah, but we'll see. He is not. Oh, if I could get to that race patty, that would be 10 out of 10. All right, so now is the time to save up money so I can start uh, resettling these places so we won't buy a bunch of stuff. Oh, I lost my satisfaction oh, bonus because this guy became unhappy. Oh, dear. Oh, well, at least it's not negative. There's no real way for me to make him happy now or at the moment. 
I could spend money to give him like uh oh 1600 for a new title never mind he can rot basically uh yeah this is gonna be a very quick turn i think <laughs> because i just want to save my money and i already moved so yeah over to you again yeah be sure guys if you're watching my side to check out haxels because right now he's in a lot more of an interesting situation than i am you say that well you got an independence war you're at war with someone else or whatever or i thought you were i don't know yeah, I'm got more with Seema D and this guy declared independence, but they're just minor little mosquitoes. Oh, I mean, at least it's something to focus on. Instead of getting to your turn, and you're like, well, I'll walk, and that's it. Soon I might be uh, in a spooky situation, but who knows. Yeah, well, it's all yin and yang, isn't it? <laughs> giveth and taketh away. As soon as I get some success, I'm sure it'll all go wrong. Yep. That's the way the cookie grumbles. I think he's absolutely set on attacking this lumber yard, but my garrison slash force that I've managed to just kind of squirrel up there seems like I'll be fine. While nice. seem away the uh, chap himself is heading to their last town. Nice. I hope I hope the other Seema Wade lives long enough for you to fight him. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about him. Congregation <laughs> packed with Seema Chang. Seema Chang. Oh, that's you. Mm. I mean, I am trading with you, so I suppose I could accept your gracious generation money. All right. Kui Chang formed the coalition with Beyond Bing. Oh, fuck's sakes. Stupid. And it's Kui oh, Chang, was my former vassal, yeah. You probably don't have to worry attack. about him too much because I'm going to pulverize him for declaring independence. I'm hoping that. <laughs> Oh no, Sean Yu is definitely going to take it. Yeah, he's going to take it next turn, and I'm going to have to attack him. Uh oh. Oh well. Should be fine. Ooh, I might also want to get mass mobilization for minus two mustering turns and 5% recruitment. That's pretty good. But. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I could also get income from commerce and a trade agreement. I think I'll do that instead. Um, I'm, I'm, well, I was saying we're saving money, but we're only making six ninety two a turn. That's not very good. Maybe I could sell something for um, income per turn. Sima Jian, who are you? Oh, you're all way over on the coast. Will you pay me nicely? Well, find someone desperate enough. Well, when I'm only dealing with... Uh, 692 a turn, I'll take an extra 100 on top of that. Just for non-aggression with someone halfway across the map. Oh, well, whatever. I messed it up, but... Uh, some people want military access. Ruan Shen, which one are you? Okay, you're also near me. Oh, you don't want that very badly, so I'm not giving it to you. And no one really wants anything now for any amount of money. Sad. Yeah. All right. And yeah, I can't really afford to keep anyone in a... Well, I, I might be able to get an administrator, actually. Let's see. Well, it's plus 200, so... Yeah, maybe maybe later. Over to you again. All right, good. Well, Seema D's decided to go into fortified stance. Ooh. So, I'll um, we'll see what we can do with him. Right, yeah, I'm still just out of range of his town, but that'll be next turn. A treasury might just be able to afford another character. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I don't know if you'll find the same, but I cannot find strategists. They just don't exist. 
Yeah, we were we were talking about this. Um, the only reason I have one is because it's my wife from the start. I only have four characters <laughs> in my court. I have my I have my my army with Sima I, and then I have one other guy. That's it. Well, I have a Sima fan as my faction now. Well, actually, that's yeah. I do have my my children, I suppose. But, but neither of them are strategies. <laughs> Sima fan is a champion, and Sima Yi is a commander. Yeah, I can see you, Hua Jin Ting, your waifu. Yep. Who is twenty two but looks forty two? Yeah, all the women look like exactly the same in this. And they all look old for some reason. Yeah, middle-aged. Well, actually, the, this Huyang Zhu Ying looks younger. Probably in the 30s. <laughs> Bit better. Who's that? Uh, one of my nobles, randomly oh. called Puyang Zhu Ying. Who I could actually yeah. potentially marry. You could. Which would be good. Because I don't have a wife, but I have children somehow. Right, there we go. I've married her. Sweet. So now all three of the brothers are married to strategists. <laughs> well, no, she's or not she a strategist. She's a sensible. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. But she can have those sworn brothers. Ooh. Bridge against Seema, UA. Ooh, I could put an administrator in now. Thank God for that. Nice. And a chancellor. So my strategist Gong Sung Hong is going to go in to administrate Chang'an. And then a chancellor. Um, It doesn't matter who's in, does it? No. I'll put Liu Xin in. Oh. With the guy with the amazing hat. I'll uh, plump things up a little bit. Indeed. But yeah, CMD is just gonna sit there. And imagine he might run back to try and defend his town, but. Oh. Yep. That's what he's done. Not gonna get back close. Mind. We were saying, I got your back with Dang Jang Li. No. I really need to learn these characters. They just don't. <laughs> make I, need, any I need to learn Chinese. <laughs> just for this game. I mean, it probably would make it a lot easier. Ooh, Sima Lun going to war with the Jin Empire. What a mad lad. Okay. Oh, I got another event that's going to be. Oh, okay. One of them could be good. Uh, so I could, whatever this situation is, I could refuse for spirit alignment. What What is this anyway? Oh, the princes are asking me to talk to the emperor. Okay. I could refuse for spirit alignment, 10 reformation, but everybody is minus 10 with me, which is actually not even that big of a deal. I could get 10 might, 3,500 treasury, lose reformation, which I really don't want to do, and everybody hates me even more. Or I could do it for the princes, get 10 mind alignment, 500 gold, and prestige. I kind of want reform uh, progress because I'm stagnant with that right now. So I think I might take the minus 10 to diplomatic relations. And yeah, it also gives me some spirit. It's a thing to really about. If people already hate you, they already hate you. Yeah. I'm going to war with Beyond Bing. Beyond Bing. And just delegate that because the garrison's not even. Oh, it is full size. Never mind. I mean, but, four but very units. Small. I just thought they took they took attrition or something somehow, but no, one sixty is the seventy four losses. I'll take that. Trebuchet, cool. smashing them. Yep. And Hong Fu Shang, or Shang, uh, leveled up. Oh. What in the world? Does he not get abilities? Oh, that's weird. 
So like the actual sentinel abilities are like uh, in the skill tree don't actually give him cool like active abilities or anything. It just gives little buffs. Interesting. Is that with everybody? Oh wow. We're on records. Oh! You're right. That would do it. Whoops. Yeah. Brain fart. I'm really used to uh <laughs> I'm really used to romance apparently. That makes more sense. Uh, so we'll go with that to give him more expertise. Ba ba ba. Whoopsies. We'll give him that for even more. Why not? Cool. So now I'm at war with Beyond Bing, and I think that's it. Didn't he enter a coalition with somebody? Am I not at war with them as well? Uh, well, not a no, coalition isn't the same. So he's probably not. You're probably not at war with him, Kuei Chang. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's who it was. Yeah, my former vassal who will not exist. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Um, how much would this guy want peace? Not that badly. No, not not at all. Actually, okay. That's fine, I suppose. All right, we'll move him closer to the toolmaker that I'm gonna fix next turn. Oh, am I getting plus ten a turn? Oh, that's what it is. Oh, that's really good. For how long? For five turns. So I'm gonna get fifty. Cool. Oh, what was I going to do then? I've already forgotten. Do we get anybody... Oh, people of merit. Anybody insanely good? Not quite. No. Oh, whoops, I just closed it. Well, whatever. I didn't look at the last one. Hmm. Uh, right, so my dissatisfaction is going away in two turns. That's nice. So I think I'll get my high satisfaction bonus back, which will be great. Yeah. I've got Sung Hong got wounded. Not good. Not good at all. I am going to take that town now. I will finally come down from the mountains. Oh, your strategist is hurt. Yeah, that's the guy that got injured in a random event. Gotta love those. Nice! Yeah, with that, Seema D has got no land left, so I'll be forced to do something. He's already taking attrition because of how long he was in my land. What a moron. Yep. Oh yeah, he'll probably just suicide attack a, one of your settlements whenever he gets the chance. Yep. Bless the AI, they try. Well, they don't really have any other choice. That all yeah. just melt into oblivion. I like when I reduce a, a faction to one army and I get peace with them and I just walk the, I just watch them walk away into whatever situation they get themselves into. I've sometimes seen that factions like that do take over a settlement if it's like basically undefended. And then they come back with, you know, a different settlement somewhere else on the map. I fought I've fought I can the make same peace faction with him. How could I make peace with him? With who? Oh, the guy that Timidee. is only one. Yeah, they, they'll take peace if they get reduced to just the army, basically. Anytime. Yeah, but before, they literally wouldn't allow it because of, you know, it being stupid because they would just die. Yeah, it's a little silly. So, no, I will give him dignity at least. <laughs> let him die with dignity. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't let him just rot away in, the, in your land. Oh, go away, Jin Empire. They want a coalition. They want me to give them, like, my whole bloody life's blood for it. <laughs> They're a bit greedy, aren't they? Yeah. I want to think that absolute power corrupts absolutely or something. Oh, I, th I think someone just declared war on me and I didn't get to see it because it instantly skips it for some reason. Sima Wei declared war on Sao Juan. That's the only thing I can see diplom diplomatically, but it could have been... Oh, Songwei, yeah. Oh. Another person above the Yangtze, like, fuck off! I don't have time to fight you. 
I got other fish to fry. I mean, right off the bat, he's already maybe on peace, but that, yeah, that's way too much. Um, so the closest thing for him to attack would be my trade port, which is my most well-defended settlement. So yeah, he can try. All right, let's colonize or establish order, whatever, in the toolmaker of Ling Ling. I got a hostage <laughs> from someone. Okay. Interesting. Who is this? Oh, a new commander who isn't happy. Um, and you're costing me money. Sorry, bud. You're gone. I don't want you. I was complaining about not having characters, but a commander is not what I need. Oh, nice. So, um, Beyond Bing actually took a settlement from one of the people I wasn't at war with, so now I can take that. Sneaky. Yeah, I was just like, no, it's free real estate. Well, not this turn, but next turn. I love, I love when the AI does that. Um... I guess I could keep this population growth building, but I kind of want to switch into stuff that'll actually make me more money, because that's a bit more important for me at, at the moment, I think. So we'll get rid of that. Um, oh, and yeah, if I... Oh, never mind. I was going to say if I take this place, this will be the last part of uh, Wu Ling, but there's another guy I'd have to attack for that. Shame. Need. And yeah, everybody else is kind of not useful to get in, into diplomacy with. Um, we are still 235 prestige from Grand Prince. Shh, that's sad. Uh, but, uh, I haven't looked, but yeah, it's it's a while away. Prince is pretty easy to get to, but Grand Prince, yeah, that's a pretty far jump. How's it going on the Haxo front? Yeah. Trying to think, really. Got a attacker coming from Kuei Chang to the weapons craftsman, which I don't want to lose, but I can always get it back easy. Not an urgent mm. settlement to hold. And yeah, it's not it's not like it'll cripple your economy or anything. Just might need to try and negotiate some military access. No, not to clear war. <laughs> no <laughs> chance that's going to see me ying. Woman's I too. Yeah, declaring war would be a little bad. I want a lot. I'm just going to walk through the territory. Screw it. I only need to like skirt around the territory for two, maybe three turns. What are they complaining at? It's like, well, if you don't want to give me military access for free, then. <laughs> oh, see my D, mate. He's only got 800 men. And he's attacking? Yeah, well, no, I'm attacking him, but he was about to attack oh, okay. next turn. <laughs> well, alright. We haven't even fought a battle yet, have we? Uh, I don't think so. But none, none of them have been, like, no, worth it. It's, it's always been, like, garrisons, like, small garrisons. I thought we could have a battle there with CMD, but. Just but. attrition too yeah. much. And now he's dead. And now it's Seema wrong. But he's also, yeah, faction destroyed. It's like, oh, I came to power and I'm dead. And, and I'm dead. He got coronated on the battlefield as his father or whoever died, and then he died as well. Well, he'll be in, in the in character pool, but his faction is gone. Mm, oh, right, right, right. Truth. When I attack Wu Ling, I might actually just play that, depending on how easy the auto resolve is, which it might actually be super easy. So just oh. <laughs> away, He's 
still can't even see him for some reason. Attacking this point is fine, have it then. Go on then. Did I just say start battle? Oops. Uh, do you want to delegate? Because I can choose delegate. Delegate. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to do. It thinks it's default, it'll delegate. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> well, well. It wasn't even like a really awesome defend thing that I could have done, like pulled a magic battle out of, either. Oh, well, beyond being left Wuling, and if I chased after him, I would reach him, but then he would just run and then I'd be stuck for a turn, so I'm just going to take. Can you Wuling. reach him, you mean? Can you actually attack him? Yes. Press backspace. Uh, yeah, so if you were to remove a character, you stop right before you attack him and he can't move. Next turn. What was that? So, like, it is uh, backspace above enter when you're going to delete a character. So if you move an army to attack and then literally as you're about to hit them and you're in their zone of control, you press backspace, you don't attack, you stop. Oh, and okay, then, you get in their zone of control. Yeah, you get in yeah. their zone of control, and they can't move. Okay. But at the same time, I feel like I should just take the town, because this army's only, like, just over a thousand. Like, I'll uh, have to see. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to see. But right now, the Empress demands retribution. Uh, one of my retainers has unintentionally offended the Empress. Oh, no. She wants him to gro he wants she wants a groveling apology. Oh my. Cow tow. So Cow tow overkill. What? Cow tow. I will not. Well, that's what is demanded. <laughs> um, so yeah, I could get five from either of the, the alignments. Um but the might is out of favor, which I don't want. Wealth is losing money for five wealth. I mean, I just got into the second level of wealth, so I don't really care about that. I might take mind, which would get me in favor, but Bujun will be upset for 20 turns. Woo, okay. Maybe that's, mm, maybe Boo that's a bit too much. Bujun, that's him. So who is this insignificant rich? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to... Uh, I think I'm going to have to apologize, because I want that money and prestige. And I don't think that puts him at risk of, like, revolting or anything. No, he's just at 28. That's fine. Alright, so yeah. I could go after him. What? How big is this army? Oh, it doesn't actually say the numbers. But he has uh, seven units. All but two are attrition. Oh, I should say, you know, he has more than that because his generals are units as well, I suppose, but... Uh... Yeah, it's just not worth chasing after him. If, if it was a full army, but I'll just take this town. Oh, he has a food market, though, so that just tanked my, uh, tanked my food. But it did make me a nice bit more money. So we can fix that pretty easily. Actually, I could get that diplomatically. Let's see if someone wants wants to give me some food. No, the only person that wants to do a damn thing is... Um, Shen Yu. And I guess for now I might as well. How much does he want this? Pretty well. Give me some food. Oh. Okay, fine. I'll pay you a little tiny bit. Why are you desperate for food? Well, I'm just at negative one. I'm just getting enough to be fine. Oh, okay. Well, I, I can't I wanna... interact with you yet anyway. Soon. Yeah. Soon. That should be fine. Oh, I didn't mean to give him a non-aggression pack. Whoops. Oh, well. That's uh... fine. That's fine. I got other people I have to worry about. I still need to take out Beyond Bing. Um, deal with Songwei, so whatever. We'll, we'll keep him alive. That's fine. 
All right, so we're not on negative food now, so that's good. And we're making 1,115 a turn. Beautiful. But I am going to save it for now. Indeed. Uh, character or development. a rainy day, which it is raining in my area of China. Yeah, it's raining here, too. I mean, we're pretty close to each other, so that's actually not surprising. Since yeah. you're, like, on the other side of the mountain and river from me. Tao Ming Shan, huh? That's a character, okay. Doesn't seem all that impressive. Uh, Sima Lian. Are you anything special? No, not quite. Alright, no new characters that I care about recruiting. Blah, blah, blah. All the events we already went through. Cool. Over to you. Alright. A competition. Right. Ooh. I can reward them all, which will give satisfaction plus five each for five turns and five wealth alignment. I can reward the archer. You don't get negatives for rewarding any other, yeah, any of the other ones. So, kind of free, free points. I don't mind some free points. Let's just, yeah, go for Might. Li Shen. Very good. There. Just chilling through Sima Ying's territory. I'm sure I did fine. I'm sure he's fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. Just force march a bit closer and they'll be in the territory. Just the mountains, they do slow you down. Stupid mountains. Aye. What are they good for? Timmy Ying wants a clear warrior for non aggression pact. You have to give me a lot more than that. No clay warrior for him. Song Wei, are you... Uh, oh, you're on your way down the Yangtze, alright. How big is your army? I have another daughter, jeez! Being busy. Oh, more armor. Alright, so... Song Wei, you have this army, and it looks like you're probably going to attack Changsha Trade Port. I'm pretty sure I would be able to beat him. So, I'm not really worried about that. Oh, here we go. I can actually kill, uh... Is this Beyond Bing himself? It is. Nice. 751 men. Yeah, I don't think that's really worth uh, playing out. <laughs> oh my. Eventually we'll get a battle that's worthy of uh, of playing. Because I could probably kill this entire army with just the trebuchets. Probably. And well, in the autoresolve, it only got 21 kills this time. Ooh. It's highly unusual. Yep. Uh, I'll take the replenishment. Cool. So now Beyond Bing has been replaced with Beyond One Pay. I could promote someone. I wish it told you what the character was. Yeah, that would be really helpful if it tells you who they are, so you can actually form some sort of connection with them. It's a tax collecting sentinel, which I could actually, I could actually keep him around to use it as a, as an admin. Ooh, never mind. He's bad. He. Takes minus four food. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, so never mind. You're getting the boot. Because you're also not... I don't think you're... The... What, are, what are your traits? Maybe you're a better general. You're strong, so that actually is really good. Deceitful is okay. It gives a little bit of instinct. And charitable. Oh, that's where he loses the food from. Okay. Stupid charitable person. See, it's not bad. Uh, that's really bad. But if it's somewhere that's... I don't know. I don't know. Because the noble support... 
It's plus four noble support, which is really good. It's plus 10% income from peasantry, which is really good. But that minus four food, man, I cannot have that. So, I I might keep him around. He's not costing me that much. Well, later on in the so. game, likely the will have massive amounts of food. Especially because of the uh, changes to the order slash noble support, where you do need food and other buildings. Yeah. Because I'm on plus seven food, and I wouldn't have that much at all in a normal Three Kingdoms game. But I have to because of the uh, public order. Yeah, you gotta build it up pretty, uh, build your food stores up pretty good. Ah, da da da! Alright, I think that's basically everything I could do. I could put someone in as, as a spy, but... Bleh. Oops. What would my wife be as an administrator? Plus 2k population growth, minus 5% construction cost, and then all the normal stuff. Okay. And she's better than the other guy, so I might as well. We might as well have someone. We'll put her in Changsha. Nice. Alright, and over to you again. Nice. Say, so, yeah, take some farmland from Kui Chang. Kui Chang. Oh, you're just marching around with two armies, huh? Well, one's kind of two thirds army, but yeah. Still not bad. It's not helping my. Economy much mind, but that's true. Tunic of divination. Ooh. If only I had actual strategies to put it on. <laughs> I don't know if this is yeah. something that they've tried to balance or if this is part of the Eight Princes DLC, but this ain't right. No strategists at all. No, Shan Yu, go away. Go oh, away, I told Jane. you a second time. Do you I hope I didn't want the attrition instantly. Yeah, go away. Was he offering you a feeble amount of money? Pretty much. For something. Okay, I'm going to take I'm going to take attrition this turn. So, ah, uh, Pyrrhic victory. Um, I feel like I could. Let's see, what does he have? So I have no cavalry and no spears. So this actually would po probably be a loss if I played it. Oh no. Like if I had one unit of spears or even any bit of cavalry, I might play this. But I feel like all I have are archers and saber militia against two. Well, the strategist won't fight, but he has shock cav, he has melee cav, he has Song Wei himself as cav. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I'm going to delegate that because I don't trust my ability <laughs> with just archers and saber militia. Oh, even your actual kind of mini commanders are archers as well. Yeah. So we beat him back. He'll probably be back, obviously, but yeah. I, I don't trust uh, archer and saber militia against even one unit of cavalry. I'll get flattened. Which would be very bad. Oh, now the garrison's back at like really high. Oh, never mind. It says they are, but they're all dead, I think. Oh, no, it's just bugged. It says all of them are zero out of 160. Nice. But the numbers <laughs> say full unit. I don't understand. Anyway. The reality uh, is somewhere between the two. Yes. My wife leveled up. Oh, how many uh, actual art, like. Archers do I have? I only have... Oh, I have three units, so maybe Flaming Arrows would be worth it. It also gives me Night Battles, which I actually already have. Never mind. So I'm wondering if, instead of Fire Arrows, should I get just the 25% range damage? Because that is really good. I guess I could get both. I mean, there's nothing stopping me with that. 
I think the damage is definitely more useful at the moment, though, so we'll do that. Alright, and I have nothing to give to anybody. No better weapons to put on people, I don't think. Oh, I have dual war axes from something. Matt picked him up in battle. Must have been. I wish I could put those on a champion. Alright, we'll continue on the warpath. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, I was just saying, no, you can't put them on. You can put Rip. them on a sentinel and a commander. Yeah, I think I'll put my minus 12 expertise or whatever it was weapon. No, minus 9. Minus 9 expertise plus 15 resolve. Like, come on. I don't want to put that on either of those. I want that for a sentinel. Or not a sentinel, a uh, champion. But, in saying that, it's uh, definitely a lot better than the weapon he has now, so why not? Screw it. And he has a lot of expertise to spare. Alright. Oops. Do I have a special horse for this guy? I do not. I'll give him one of the plus four resolve ones. Uh, and then that... Is it? Ooh. I think I'm Not a problem. I've got my battlefield medicine finally. Nice. Oh, well, I'm not going to be a <laughs> grand prince for a while, but looking at those texts, it's like, oh, nice. Yep. Yeah, the next, uh, the next reforms are quite nice. I'm just going to go scour Earth and get some extra units. Not a bad idea. We're going to retake the weapons craftsman next turn. Beautiful. Between talking to you again. Oh, they are. They want me to give them forged iron scale for military access, and they'll give me 1600. See, that's actually not a bad deal. But I don't know if I really want them walking through my lands is the problem. So I could negotiate and just drop that. And then I could actually ask for more money for that scale. Why not? Let's do that. So then we'll have a nice chunk of change next turn. Thanks. Seema Mo is asking us as their vassal masters friend of against Seema Mao. <gasps> Where is Seema Mao? Oh, there. He's right above me. Yeah. God damn it. He's not doing anything, my vassal, the entirety of this game. But then again, he's not being attacked either, even though he's got enemies on his borders. At least they're giving you money. Where's that? But, you know, it's only like... Although I think, yeah, it's just like 186 now, so... Yeah. Market regulations finished. Beautiful. Ooh, ooh, yes. Let's get that. Uh, continuing the march on Fu Ling. Ah. Do I really want to expand it? Oh, I can take the entirety of it, so sure. Why not? And yeah, after after that defeat, Song Wei got back into the river and is sailing away again. <laughs> Tail oh my. firmly tucked between his legs. Yep. Um, Does Sima Mao own Jianling City as well? Yes. Okay. Indeed, he does. Okay, let's get some. Oh, that puts down my reformation. That's that sucks. Making money puts down my reformation. I don't like that. 
Oh, I need to actually upgrade Ling Ling to a small city. Oh. I don't want to do that. Not yet. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll upgrade some of my food production then. Oh, that doesn't make me any. Uh, that does. That makes me a lot. Nice. Oh, the money. So with that money I got from the gin, we'll upgrade a couple of farms, and then we'll be able to upgrade some cities. Why not? And... Yeah, I think that's everything again. Uh, I don't have anybody that I could use as a spy, do I? Oh, I could use that new guy that I got. I wonder if spies are actually useful in this at all. No idea. Oh, let's try it. Who would I want to spy on? Let's say... Uh, oh. I could spy on the djinn. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it, no, that, that seems kind of pointless. Man, no, I'm not going to do it anyway. I don't have anybody that I really want to spy on. I have no major, like, big rivals around me, so. Yeah. Oh, another battle. Indeed. Still kind of more like a two to one scenario, so. One day we will have one. Yeah. But it is not this day. <laughs> we just have. Yeah, there hasn't been any, like. Big scenarios. Anyway. So I don't feel too bad. Yeah, there really hasn't been anything. Hey, reoccupying my life. Very good. Nice. Oh, and you also you also killed Kui Chong or whatever his name was. Yeah, now it's Li hey. Lanyan. Yeah. So was that guy one of your vassals? He was, yes. Does he start with Ba? It says this is his capital, so I guess he does. I didn't realize your vassals were so far down here, or one of them was. Well, my vassal starts with Ba, the entire commandery, and that's bordering my territory that I start with in Shanyong. Okay, so one's one's on your eastern side, and this one's on your southwestern. Yeah, but the eastern okay. side is kind of beyond my border of control anyway. Oh! Okay. Although technically, so, when you take Luoyang at the start of this campaign, you would be bordering him, the vassal in the east. Gotcha. So, oh, I Oh, so he, he starts off split up. Interesting. But yeah, um, probably good for my turn there, really. I wonder if on your nice. turn we should finish up as we're over the hour mark. Oh, well, yes, we might as well. Oh. So hopefully nothing horrendous happens during our intern. I wouldn't say it would. Oh, Songwei is retreating again. No, I'm not forming a coalition for 63 gold. <laughs> what an offer. Yep. All right. All right, do it. Well, uh, I got to end it here real quick because it's my turn. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please just leave a like and a comment, as always, on both of the videos, just to show your support and to, uh, well, show us that, you know, you enjoy the series and that you want to see more. Um, next episode, of course, we have some plans. And this isn't wasting my turn because I got an event up. So this is perfect. Wow. Um, I'll be attacking Fu Ling, of course. Um, I would assume Haxo's finishing off his bad vassal, who is been replaced again unless that's a new guy huang jin <laughs> um yes that is a new faction leader oh my gosh all right, right anyway we'll be working on those things in the next episode so be sure to tune in when that is released but anyway this has been overkill thank you for watching and and i've been hexo <laughs> thank you for watching goodbye see ya <laughs>